In this lesson 28, let us discuss the formation of resistance. I've come to realize if you don't understand resistance and support, you're in trouble. So the first lesson 28, we'll discuss very in details about resistance. And then I'll help you to understand in lesson 29 about support. So guys, uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And if this is the first video that you're watching lesson 28, always know that I have done from lesson one to 20 seven now and i will put those videos in a playlist and you can go down in the description box and click the link and you can be able to watch all the lessons so guys uh when you talk of resistance in the market many people uh will try to look for the obvious resistance and you see that's how we were taught we were taught that resistance is a zone where at least market is not able to what to break so we were told if you come if you open your chart and you see where buyers are not able to break, that is your resistance. That is the education that is out there on YouTube. It's out there on, on the internet. And it's not wrong information, but there are so much things that actually it is, um, you're not told because you're told if at all the market has a, has a resistance, has to have two zones. Or you are told the resistance that work very well perfectly are the ones that, maybe a zone that is not able to break. Like for instance, someone can tell you, this is a resistance. You see, this is a resistance. And uh, the question is, what made this market, even after it has broke, to keep selling? You see? So if you don't understand the power of resistance, if you don't understand what the what to do at resistance will be very, very, uh, sometimes you will make money and then you won't make money the following day. So it will be an on and off kind of a trading situation. But when you understand your resistance and the way they form, you have opened the keys. I always say that what I'm teaching you, I, have, I was taught by the Holy Spirit. Nobody taught me because you know, when you, when you, you, when you find yourself in a place, in a situation where you can only depend on God, because yes, you're trying to go on YouTube to learn, but everything people are saying, you're making losses. That's when you look up to God and say, Father, just give me the wisdom that you say that Jesus has become my wisdom. If, if it is true, I have the mind of Christ. I have to crack out this uh, forex. And that's what has happened to me. And, the, and, and you see, when God gives you a gift, easily when the holy spirit is the one who is giving you without you doing anything like you have not paid him to give you he is the one who controls what to do with the gift so god has already told me that i'm called for you guys that's why i keep posting this video so when we talk of uh, resistance we need to understand that for you to understand my strategy which i call c r b strategy you have to understand how resistance form. So I know you have been here and you have heard of this ERB strategy and many people don't understand what, what does she says, what does she mean? So uh, this video is not about CRB strategy, but I want us to mention the importance of the video. CRB strategy is when um is when you you identify the C is the current and then the R. What is the R for? The R now is the resistance. And then the B is the break. So you need to identify that resistance has very, uh, it has a lot of work to do. So you need to know that, yes, if you want to use this CRB strategy, and this CRB strategy, guys, I use it on four hour. So if you've been looking for four hour strategy, CRB is your, uh, is your strategy. So I do it on four hour time frame, four hour time frame. And this strategy, I only do it on one pattern. You can see, if you don't understand the kind of the, the formation of resistance, how will you understand all this? Resistance, formation. I just want to tell you, everything in the market is interconnected. So everything is connected to each other. So if you fail to understand what it means, so resistance formation uh, gives you the current resistance break idea of what it is the crb the crb we use it on 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 four hour time frame this four hour time frame 
What are we using CRB for? We are using any time we have a double, a double bottom. So the CRB advance, you know, when God gives me something that is very, very profitable, he tells me, release it for free, give people for free, teach these people for free. Because once you use CRB, I'm, I'm telling you, you'll make money. There is nothing to lie about it. I can either, I, I, I had an option of keeping CRB strategy and CSB strategy for my students, but the Holy Spirit was clear. This one share. But you see, every time the Holy Spirit gives me a strategy, he gives me in two versions. So there is the CRB, the beginner friendly, where you use it on the double bottom. And this, there is the CRB that is very advanced. Sometimes even I have to take time to teach my students because it is very, very advanced. The, the knowledge about it, it is so deep. Sometimes I even, I, I'm, I'm, trying to train them and I'm thinking let me just stay on the CRB strategy beginner friendly because once now you become more advanced you will be able to understand the CRB strategy is the one that birthed the ADS strategy so ADS is so so deep guys ADS strategy is very deep and ADS means after deep retracement signal so the ADS strategy is what now I was given for my like for myself like a premium content so when someone watches me they think oh you're giving everything for free oh no god tells me give it for free and once i allow myself he opens my eyes again so we will talk of ads one day one time maybe when i reach a hundred thousand subscribers because that's what the holy spirit is saying if people will watch you and they will push this content there are some strategies bw and ads i can teach you when we hit 100K subscribers. So you see, I'm giving you a promise. If we hit 100K, I can teach you that. So the, 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 kind, the resistance formation you need to understand if the market is green. You see, we have three types of market structure. We have an uptrend, we have a downtrend, and we have a ranging. So let me use an uptrend, an uptrend um, market. So the uptrend market is a market that is going up down up down up like that so that's what we call an uptrend why because the market cannot go down uh, cannot go up on a straight line there is no market that goes like that for years the market has to do an exhaustion phase it has to exhaust and uh, people take out their profit the market drop the price drop and then all of a sudden the market starts so for instance if i have three green candles like this. So if I have these three green candles and I ask you, where do you think my resistance is? What would be your answer? Where do you think my resistance is? You see, I have to start from the somewhere. I have to start from a basic point of view so that even that beginner, you see, for me, I'm called, and I, I keep telling you guys, I'm called for three categories of people. Number one, total beginner, people who are green, like people who don't know even the candle green means buy and red means red, I uh, say. So if you're a total beginner, I am called for you. So the total beginner, since they don't know anything, but they are passionate, they will come on YouTube. They will try to learn. Yes, they are new. Yes, they don't understand. It's this, they don't seem to understand. But there's something, there's something deposited in them. That is someone I look up to. And I am very happy when I'm training beginners. Either free here on YouTube, either my students, like I enjoy a lot. Why? I'm revealing so much information to them and I'm, I'm enlightening them and I'm telling them, you don't need to go and look for a job. You don't, you don't need to be oppressed by poverty. You don't be to, to remain broke for the rest of your life. There is something great that you can do with this Forex market. Like I, uh, I am happy when I train beginners. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. So comment down below. What do you think is my resistance? Is it A, B, or C? So the second, the second people that I'm called for, they are those people who have tried this thing hey, hey, for two years, five years, 10 years. Like you have tried all your life and it seems like you can't get it. If you're watching me, don't leave this channel. Why? God has something for you. He is about to surprise you. So that's the second category of people that I'm training. Have you commented? You know, I'm giving you this story so that you can be able to interact with this video. What do you think is your resistance? Is it A, B, or C? A, B, or C. If you said A, you are wrong. You are wrong, guys. 
There is no resistance here. You don't have resistance. That's not our resistance. This cannot be our resistance. And this cannot be our resistance because a resistance to be formed, you need to know something. Resistance form when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So for me to form a resistance, I need a green candle plus a red candle so that I can equals resistance. This is something that I have to teach you so that you can understand. So resistance, I need those two candles, a green, a red, so that I can have resistance. So I need a green candle like that. For me to see I have a resistance, first I need a green candle. Then I come here and I get a red candle. So that green and red is what gives me a resistance, guys. So if you didn't know, now you know. If you didn't know, now you know. If you didn't know, now you know. So if a green candle and then plus red, I get a resistance. So when I ask you, do I have a resistance here? The answer should be no, I do not have a resistance. Why? Because even if I continue to form a green, I'll still not have a resistance. But if I get a red candle, now see becomes my resistance. It's that easy, guys. The resistance is authorized if a green candle is followed by a red candle. So if now I ask you, do I have a resistance? C will be our resistance area. Not because now you have understood. And you see, this is very shallow information. If someone can keep this for themselves and they don't educate you, this is too shallow information, yet it can disturb you, yet it can make you not gain the results. As shallow it is might be, with being deprived of this information, it makes your trading uh, lifestyle become hectic. So I need, to, I need to advise you, if you want to understand the, the resistance in this Forex market, first you need to understand how it forms. When I do a video on support, I will, I will do it. So once you understand how resistance is formed, you need to understand the second thing. And this one, I'll just tell you because you guys, you guys, you have been good, uh, you're good students. I've seen even people who have bought books. Before I even say that, I told you I am called for three categories. Beginners who are green, don't know anything. Second, people who are frustrated, people who have been trading for years, no results. They seem they can't get a concept. They seem anything they do, they buy the market sale, like they seem they can't do. And then that category that I'm called for, and you need to listen and listen carefully, is someone who is not even aware they are called for Forex. Someone who is minding their own business. Someone who cannot type Forex videos. Someone who cannot watch Forex videos. And do you know that person? You are the one to go and tell them. You see, the message of Jesus, when Jesus healed the Samaritan, when he, he talked about, when he talked to the Samaritan woman and exposed the secret of the five husbands. What did the Samaritan woman do? He ran and told the village, come, come and see the man who has revealed to me. This is the man we have been waiting for. You see, now when you get the good news, you have your village. You're the one to take this good news to these people who doesn't have a clue that Forex, um, that Forex exists. So you're the one who is watching me there's no way you can have downloaded lesson 1 to 28 and you have not shared with your friends. You have not shared with your brother. You have not shared with your mother. You have not even told your mother, your dad what you do. Your cousins doesn't know Forex exists. You are not doing the justice. Why? Because you, once you are get conviction, once you start learning, you have to share. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, I want you to share at least to five people in your contact. They might think you're crazy right now. They might think, what are you doing? Like, leave me alone. But the minute they see you buy that car, the minute they see you buy that, build that house, the minute they see your life change, they will remember and they will say, at least she told us, but we didn't listen. But let me tell you, if you don't tell them, they will blame you for that. They will blame you. They'll tell you, you could not tell me back in 2023. Now we are in 2028, five years down the line. You could not tell me you are learning this forex. Anyway. <laughs> Now those are the three categories. Now you know, uh, help me to reach this message to everyone. Ah, what happens at resistance? Now you know how resistance forms. So let's go to our chat and see. If I, if I spot, if, if, you, if this is the market going on an uptrend, 
Many people will think that they don't have a resistance. They'll start to squeeze their chart to come and look for a resistance. Why? They think resistance is only available when the market has done what? When the market, where the market like reversed. So many people are eyeing on this resistance, not knowing that a resistance formed immediately. We had a green followed by red. Can you see? When we had a green followed by red, resistance was formed. Even if it's an indecision, when we had a green followed by red, this green, red, a resistance. Then we had another green followed by red. Can you see this green followed by red? Then we had another green followed by red. So the resistance was being formed in our eyes. You seeing it and that's how resistance is formed. The thing is, you can know how resistance formed but you can know how resistance form, but that is not still enough information. Why? Because to know how resistance form is one thing, but to know what to do after resistance is formed is another. That's why I say all my teachings are intertwined. All my teaching is intertwined. Why? I have to show you one thing. I have to show you one thing. Uh, and then I have to, to get you to where I want you to get. So. Knowing how resistance forms is one thing, but knowing what happens at resistance after it has formed is another. So that's what I want to ask to discuss in this um in this in this video or in this lesson 28. So you have your resistance. Already now we have identified our resistance is formed when a green candle is followed by what? So I have my green. So I have my green candle. And it has a week. So this green candle has a week like that. And then automatically I get a red. So maybe the market wanted to sell or some, I don't know, e news event. And then I have a sell candle like that. Once this happens, you need to realize I will have I will put my line. Already now I have I didn't have the line, but once this happened, I will put the line knowing, identifying that I have a resistance formation. And you see, resistance was not being formed when I had another green candle. When the market, when the market was, uh, when I was having, uh, what, what do we call, when I was having two green candles, there's no way I had a resistance. Resistance came when a red candle showed up. Now you need to understand three things that happens at resistance. So the first thing that happens at resistance is break of structure. That is number one. So number one is break of structure. Can you see? Number one, break of structure. Number two, anything that happens at resistance. So the market can come and break this resistance. Why? This, yes, the market can sell. It can sell. The market can sell like that. And then the market can, after selling, it can start to come up. You see the way the market sell for two candles or two days, and then all of a sudden they like change their mind. And then they come now and break that resistance. So at resistance, we can have BOS. The first thing at resistance, we can have BOS. And then the second thing that you can have at resistance, instead of this market breaking, it can get rejected. You, you are waiting for the market to break, but the market gets rejected. So another thing that you can experience at resistance is rejection. So here we have some rejection. So it's you to understand, yes, I have my resistance, but what is happening? And the next thing I can have ranging. So this resistance, the market can be in one place. The market can be in one place. Nothing is happening. Nothing is moving. Yes, it is coming to this resistance, but nothing much is happening. So we have three things that happens at resistance. Number one, we can have break of structure. Number two, we can have rejection. Number three, we can have ranging. Now I want to show you with the chart what I have just told you. So you open a chart like this and open a chart. So we have a new, we have a new, um, we had a resistance here. So 
there was a resistance formed. You can see there was resistance formed. So all along this resistance, what has been, what can you be told? Like, what is the chat communicating? Is it breaking of resistance? Is it rejecting of resistance? Or is it ranging of resistance? If you say the rejecting, you're correct. Why? This, it is giving us a rejection moment. So if you understand when resistance, and that's now what I teach my students, because do you know if a student come to me, if they are aware at resistance, there's rejection, they are able to grasp my strategy very well. But when you are starting to teach, to teach resistance, this is what happens at resistance. That is like uh, being in PP1 and you need to graduate. And I don't know why people think that this is now the, the this is just a, a foundation. This is laying foundation for your Forex education. So when you're watching these videos, you need to even desire to get into the class. Why? From the class, now I need to give you meat because this is just milk. <laughs> so I, um, at resistance, if the rejection happens, do you know I have the strategy for it? So when rejection happens, I have, I have a strategy for rejection. So let's see if a break happens at resistance, if we get a break, let me look for a good uh, resistance. At resistance, if we have a very good break and we will see uh, how do we trade that? So uh, I don't want something like arranging. I just want a very good break. So let me look for it. Let us look for it. So you have to understand that at resistance, so many things can happen. I'll be there. I was setting exam. I was ex I, I was setting exam for my students. I hope they uh, they were starting at nine already. They're in the exam room, uh, and I was telling them identify the three correct or true support in this chart. This is this is five marks. This is how I set the exam. And you see, if you think in my class you come to joke, no, you can't come to joke in my class. I need to give you everything that I have in this mind. And once I give everything, God gives me back and even more. So I ask this question. So you can screenshot and answer the question. You can send me on my number and I will give you the answer. So what do you think is the correct support there? The three, only three are correct. The rest are false. So which one can you, you can screenshot and then send it on my WhatsApp and I will give you the true answer. So let's see, let's see, let's see guys, let's see guys. So we, 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 and there was a, uh, and there was another question. How do you trade this chart below? I will show you that exam in a few, how it was. So at resistance, we have said something can happen. The market can break. So this resistance, you can see the market has broke. Let's see. Can you see that resistance? The market has broke. So when the market break, do you, do you, do you tend for it to like in your mind, would a resistance break and you're just waiting for the market to sell? No. And that's why at resistance, I still have a pattern uh, to, to give you or to guide you have a strategy. When resistance breaks, this is a strategy to use. Can you see what I'm saying? The minute that you understand that at resistance, if it breaks, pull this strategy. At this, this is break. Let me pull this strategy. You'll be at a very, very, um, you'll be, you will be able to trade this market very well. So this is these are resistance where the market finds a resistance and it can it only ranging. So you need to identify what we mean by ranging. So you there are times you will open the chart like this, you open the chart and at your resistance, the market is still ranging at that resistance. Can you see what I mean? The, the market is not moving, it's not breaking, it's not going down, it's not going up. That's what we mean at resistance. It's not breaking resistance and it's not getting broken. So what it forms, it forms a pattern. And that's now how you trade a resistance that has been, uh, it is ranging, the market is ranging. So today's lesson was very, very detailed. Formation of resistance, the pattern we use, the CRB. I will do a very, uh, like a unique video on the CRB strategy, but I wanted to show you that once you know formation of resistance and then you know three things that happens at resistance and then now you grab my one strategy that I've given to the public which is CRB, 
you're good to go. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this lesson I will help you even to 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 do the trade. Let me just show you um the trade I give Euro Audi. I hope you guys you have traded us that trade Euro Audi. This is the trade I gave out or oh, yesterday. I told you on Euro Audi. This is a double top. So I I already know at resistance if it get rejected what I need to do. And that's what I'm saying. You need to understand first, why are you even selling? Is the resistance getting rejected? So you can see that's a double top and that is our half. And I told you in that video, wait for CSB. So this was more of current support break. Wait for CSB to break and the market broke. You can see the market broke here. So if you enter that trade yesterday at night, because this candle closed at eight, the market has given you uh, 54 pips. So already you'll be closing because it has hit 50 pips. You'll be closing. Um, yeah, or if you want to continue holding, just note that it can form this double bottom here. Just note the market can form that double bottom and it can push the market up. So be careful whenever the market comes to this area. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and love you. Bye-bye.